Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a full face of kind of get ready with me first impressions. Um, there's a couple things I'm going to be using that I already know and love, but um, for the most part, everything's brand new. Um, so the one thing that you may know about is last week in my haul video I had a Lancome foundation that <laughs> came in the wrong color. So I went and exchanged it and I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the correct color of foundation. Um, because as it turns out, I am not shade 10. I am shade 010, um, which was kind of an important distinction that the lady at the store didn't make. Might have been the language barrier. I'm going to give her a break on that one. Um, but yeah, so I have that. I have a Becca um, skin perfecter. I have a new mascara and a new eyebrow pencil. Um, other than that, it'll be things that I already use. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. Um, so I am going to begin with um, my typical primer. It's the Too Faced Hangover RX. Um, I don't have a hangover, but my skin feels like it does. I have been having so many problems with dryness since I've been here in Spain. Um, I think it's the change in the weather patterns. Um, but you know what? I'm okay with it because that is why I have products like this that are meant to help me out in these kind of sticky situations or, I mean, dry situations is more of an accurate <laughs> representation. Um, so the great thing about this is that it hydrates, but it also leaves kind of a tacky feeling, um, which is really great when you're trying foundations, um, something for them to stick to. So the foundation is the Lancome Taint Me Doll Ultra Wear. It's a 24-hour, um, you know, retouch-free kind of comfort foundation. Um, I have the box here so I can sort of read what it says to you if I can find the English. Um, yeah, I don't know if I can find it. There it is. 24 hour of wear for a divine lasting perfection. Um, following eight years of research, Lancome unveils its first 24 hour wear foundation for lasting perfection. It's got eternal soft technology. Um, it defeats all challenges. I would love to understand what all challenges are, like what they went through to get this foundation the way that it is, but I am really excited to test this out. So this is the shade 010. Um, the name of it is Beige Porcelain. Um, so I'm going to be using my BH Cosmetics foundation brush on one side of my face and my Beauty Blender on the other so we can kind of get a feel for um, coverage. But I'm going to start by just pumping a little bit onto the back of my hand um, and dabbing it on my face first. That tends to be the way that I like to go about it. Um, and I don't know how fast this works, so I'm not going to put it on both sides, since I'm only going to be um, using uh, the brush first. Um, okay, so I'm just going to take the brush and buff it in as I normally would. Um, okay, so my immediate reaction is that it feels really nice buffing in. Um, it looks a little white on camera, but I, I mean, that usually happens. And this is the lightest shade that they have, so if this doesn't <laughs> this doesn't look right, there's kind of nothing I can do. I mean, I could probably mix in a white foundation, but I don't have one here with me, and I don't necessarily want to buy one. It's an extra step for me that I don't really enjoy taking. Um, so yeah, I think that looks pretty nice. It looks pretty even. Um, I don't know. I'm really sorry that my uh, lighting situation is not fantastic, but... What I can say is that it looks very smooth here. Um, it's glowing in a way that it should, um, being that it's not like a completely matte foundation, but it's not glowing in like an, oh my god, kind of super, super glowy way that's like over the top for my face. Does that make any sense? I hope so. Um, so on this side, we're going to go in with the Beauty Blender. I'm just going to dab as I usually would. Okay. So initially, I think I am getting similar coverage, honestly, which is unusual. Um, maybe a little less, if anything. Um, but I think that I like the Beauty Blender side a little bit better because it's a little more natural. And I am not a huge fan of, like, overly full coverage foundation. That's usually not what I go for. Um, I'm just going to blend out that nose because... Oh yeah, that definitely looks better. So this side is more full coverage, yes, but it looks a little more like makeup. This side is very natural, and I am a huge, huge fan of the natural look. You can still see some of my freckles coming through here, and that is something that I prefer. So I'm just going to kind of dab over the rest of my face. I have a little more left on my hands, so I'm going to put it um, on these little reddish areas of my cheeks. And a little on my chin where I've got some problem breakouts just to see how it layers. 
I don't like to put a full layer everywhere, um, like a full second layer, because I really don't need it. Um, most of my face is pretty evenly toned. Um, so I don't know how this looks to you, but to me it seems to match my neck pretty well. Um, we'll see if it oxidizes. That's usually kind of a... And I don't know for me, because sometimes things oxidize and then I don't know what to do because it's already the lightest shade and it's too dark. Um, but as of now, it looks pretty great. So let's move on to the other new products. Um, the first one I have for you um, is actually... Oh, well, no, that's not the right order. You know what? Let me just take a second here. I'm going to use a concealer that I already know I love. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Um, everyone loves this stuff. I'm just going to put it under. Um, my only concern with this foundation so far, like immediately, is that it looks a little bit gray on me. Um, I'm having a lot of trouble figuring out my undertones because I've taken all those quizzes and like talk to all the makeup artists and yada yada and people keep telling me different things they're like no you're pink or like no you're neutral no you're warm no you're cool and like the only thing I know is that I don't have yellow undertones literally that is the one piece of information that I'm solid about in my head but I don't know okay so it's blending fine with the concealer um so that's really good because not gonna not wear concealer um so the next step is something new for me um i've been doing it but i haven't really shared it with anybody this is the bare minerals bare pro um performance wear powder foundation in sateen 05 i've been using this as a setting powder because it gives me a little bit more coverage and then smooths everything out in a way that i really enjoy um so it does come with a brush the bare minerals brush here but i'm not going to use that because it's really densely packed and that's better for when i'm using it as a foundation i'm going to use the bh cosmetics powder brush um, and i'm just going to go in and um, just kind of tap it because a little bit of extra coverage is just like really nice um when you're having days where you don't feel i don't know your best um and for me it seems like a fair way to test this foundation out because this is what i would do regularly um so yeah, I mean, I think it looks really nice on top of just about every foundation that I own. Um, I like it a lot with the Maybelline Dream Cushion. I like it a lot with the Bourjois Healthy Mix. Um, it doesn't look so great with the um, Revlon Color Stay, but lucky for me, the Revlon kind of looks really good on its own, so I don't really need any topper in terms of coverage. I just use the Laura Mercier Translucent with that one. Um, okay, so this is my skin now. So as you can see, it's very flawless. I apologize for being so close up, um, but it like it looks like a painting, which is exactly what I'm going for here. So now we move on to another new product. So this is the Benefit Goof, Poo Goof Proof Brow Pencil, um, and this came out as part of their kind of new line of eyebrow products. They have the Cabrow and all these other things. Um, so you can see that the tip is a lot like the um, Brow Definer by Anastasia, um, but I really wasn't a huge fan of the Brow Definer. I like this one a lot better, like visually. Um, it seems a little bit less um, thick to me at least. So I'm going to start by spooling just to make sure all my hairs are going in the same direction, which they'll probably move anyway, but that's fine. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to go in. Um, eyebrows are getting a little stressful for me because I kind of don't love that defined look anymore except that I have these patches of my eyebrows that just don't grow. So it's really hard for me to know like how much to fill them in, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I've been kind of just like haphazardly doing my eyebrows, which makes them look a lot more natural. Um, and on a lot of days for me, that's exactly what I'm going for. This is the, uh, the bad brow. My right brow is not my friend right now because I have this patch over by the corner, as you can see. That literally just did not want to grow in after I got them done last time so um you know whatever that's what we're doing eyebrow that's what we're doing um but I've been really loving um like less of a strong arch uh bringing it down a little bit lower um and also adding more to the front of my brows because I feel like that makes them look more like actual eyebrows and then I go back through with the spoolie um just one more time as you can see, they look more natural now. The best thing about this is that the color is perfect. This is in shade 3, and this is my hair color. So I have red hair, 
leaning a little more towards brown if I had to pick. Um, so finding an eyebrow shade is almost impossible for me. With the Anastasia Brow Wiz, I use soft brown. And my eyebrows are not the same color as my hair. They never have been. So this, I'm really excited that they came out with this color. I hope that it sticks around. And I hope that they have it in other products because I'd definitely be excited to try those as well. Um, okay, so next we're going to do a little bit of eyeshadow, which, silly me, I have buried my palette. So this is the Morphe 350. Um, this has been trusty for me since I got it. Um, where did my brush go? Doo, doo, doo. Anyway, so I'm going to take this color right up here in the corner, and I'm going to put it all over my lids. This is probably like one of the few colors in this palette that I honestly can't live without. It's just... It's kind of like the wash of color that I need, like, every single time. Um, so, I I mean, I don't really do my eyes without using this color. Next, I'm going to take this one here, which is my favorite crease color, and I'm going to just kind of pop it into the corner here and bring it in. Um, I know it looks kind of messy at first, but I blend it out, so don't worry. If you have this palette, really give these colors a try. I understand that there's all these crazy, like, oranges and, like, burnt colors over here that, like, Quite frankly, I'm a little terrified to try. Um, but these, like, really soft browns, they're so nice. And you can dress them up, you can dress them down, like, whether or not you want to wear eyeliner or, like, more intense mascara. It, like, it's, like, entirely up to you what you do. Um, but they make it, you know, it's simple with this palette. They blend out so nicely, and they just end up kind of, I don't know, looking good no matter what you do. Um, and next, I'm going to take this brush, um which is by Vera Mona. I'm sorry, the one I just used was an e.l.f. brush. And I'm going to take this brown here, and what I like to do with this is I kind of like to pop it in on the corners of my eyes as if it was eyeliner, because I'm not a huge fan of eyeliner, but I do like a little bit of definition. See, I just kind of like popped my lash line out a little bit. Other side. Um, so this is becoming like a, a trick that I use almost every time I put makeup on, whether it's the daytime or the nighttime. Um, at night I'll, I'll, I'll bring it underneath, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, and last but not least, I'm going to take, um, not in this palette, I'm going to take this Milani, um, shadow in 07, Bella White, and this brush, which I honestly have had since the beginning of my time doing makeup, so I don't know what it is, where it came from, I'm sorry, um, but there's a lot of brushes like this, and I'm going to just pop this in the corner here, on the inner corner, um, just for a little bit of... Oomph. Just makes your eyes look a little more defined. Um, and also helps to separate them um, because mine are a little bit close together. And last but not least, this may not be everyone's cup of tea, but I like to use my fingers sometimes to help blend out. So I'm just going to kind of go in and make sure that the blend is good, that there's no harsh lines, and that it's not everywhere. So now that those look to my liking, I'm going to try one of the other brand new products. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. You can use this underneath your foundation or on top as a highlighter. And since I was testing out a foundation, I didn't want to also test out this and then not know if I didn't like it, which thing I didn't like. So um, what you do with this, from what I have been told, is you take it and you can put it wherever you would ordinarily put highlight. So for me, that's like this C that I focus on right here, kind of around my eyebrow, just to give myself a shimmer. A little bit on the tip of my nose. There we go. Just a little more up here. And I'm I'm sure I could use a brush for this, but like I like to use the tools that God gave me because spending money on brushes when I could use my fingers seems a little excessive to me. So as you can see, that looks super nice. Shiny but not like obnoxiously so. I'll just put a little bit right there too. Because I'm not, I'm not really a contour person. I mean, I have contoured, but it's not something that I do on a daily basis. I feel like it's a little too extra for me because I don't tend to, like, dress up usually when I'm going to school or when I'm going to work. So I always do put on makeup, but, like, a full face to me doesn't usually include any type of contouring. I'll use a little bit of bronzer. Like, for example, right now I'm going to use the Cargo Duo. Um, but that's usually the extent for me. Um, and even still, sometimes that feels a little heavy. So I'm just going to pop that in, a little on my forehead. I also realized that I did that step completely backwards. Like, who puts on their highlight before a contour? Me, apparently. But that's fine. And then in this duo, also, I'm going to take the blush on the same brush. I'm just going to put it underneath. Sorry, I got totally out of step. 
I just got really excited to use the skin protector, so I just sort of did it. But that's okay. I don't think you guys care all that much. Okay, so last but not least, we have the final new product, and this is from Kiko. This is the... Oh man, Extra Sculpt Waterproof Mascara. They have it in regular as well, but I didn't have a waterproof mascara at the time that I bought this, so I figured, why not hit two birds with one stone? I heard Kathleen Lights talking about this all of last year, so I figured, you know, I love Kathleen, I love her taste, why don't I give this a shot? Um, wow. Okay. I see you. I see you, Kiko. Hello. You know, I was completely misinformed about this brand. I thought that it only existed in Europe. That's not true. I was over by Yale a few months ago, and there's a Kiko there. It's like right next to the Urban Outfitters and the American Apparel. Holy... Do you see that? Do you see that length? Wow. Okay. So at first when I see this brush, I'm like uncomfortable because it's like a weird kind of eight shape. But it totally hugs your lashes exactly the way that you want your lashes hugged. And that looks absolutely fantastic now were this a night look i would probably put a little bit on my lower lashes but since i don't have any um shadow under there right now i feel like that's not the look that i want to go for okay so i'm having a little bit of trouble separating my lashes with this but like you know i could just go for chunky today that could be what i'm doing um i hope you realize i am filming this at night but it's meant to be just like a regular look so I might end up wearing this out. Still unsure about what I'm doing tonight. Um, but if you see me at a wine bar in Madrid, you will know that I'm testing out new makeup. Um, anywho, so last but not least, I'm going to take the Max, MAC Fix Plus spray. I have it in a little travel container right now from the plane. And I'm going to give it a little go. And then we're going to find a lipstick. And I think I am feeling the Maybelline Color Jolt in Berry Naughty. Oh no! Okay, that's a downside. Definitely a downside to this mascara is... Did you see that? Okay, so wait, I guess. Wait after you put it on to use setting spray is my advice for you. We're good. Crisis averted. This is a beautiful color. I honestly... I honestly love the color jewels. I think that they are super cute. Super affordable and super easy to travel with. I mean, what more could you ask for in a lipstick, right? I'm not landing my lips today. I'm just kind of existing. You know what? It is what it is. Not the thing I'm here to test out, but I need a little color on my lips because of the foundation. Um, okay, well, I think that that is it. So this is the skin. You can see the really fantastic Becca right there. Huge fan of that. Um, the Lancome looks fantastic. This mascara is ballin'. Um, I'm really happy with all of these new things that I'm trying out. So, wow, okay. So if anyone wants to go pick those up, let me know. Let me see how you feel about them. I'm a huge fan. Um, also, side note, this sweater um, I picked up today from H&M, also a huge fan. H&M in Europe is like low-key a little bit better than H&M in America. So order from H&M España if you want this, uh, this lovely off-the-shoulder top. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday night and rest of your weekend and next week, and I will see you next time. Bye!